In this video, we will look at a method of solving what are called simultaneous products. A simultaneous product is when we have two equations with two variables that are products or multiplied together. The way we will solve these simultaneous products is we will divide both equations by the same factor. This will allow us to substitute to end up with a rational equation, which we can solve. Here is an example of a simultaneous product equation. We can solve for either x or y first. Let's solve by dividing both by the same factor of x. When we divide the first equation by the factor of x, we end up with y is equal to 72 over x. We will divide the other equation by the same factor, the x factor, x minus 5, on both sides. When we do, we end up with the equation y plus 2 equals 56 over the x minus 5. Now that we have divided both by the same factor, you notice one equation tells us that y is equal to 72 over x. And so we can replace the y with 72 over x, giving us 72 over x plus 2 equals 56 over x minus 5. We now have a rational equation we can solve by identifying the least common denominator of an x and an x minus 5. We can multiply each term by x, x minus 5, including the 2, to clear the fractions. As we do, the x's divide out, giving us 72 times x minus 5 plus 2x times x minus 5. And then the x minus 5's divide out, giving us 56x. Solving, we'll start by distributing the 72 through and the 2x through, which will give us 72x minus 72 times 5 is 360, plus 2x squared minus 10x equals 56x. We can now go back and combine like terms and also put things in the order we're used to working with. 2x squared plus 62x minus 360 equals 56x. Moving everything to the same side of the equation by subtracting the 56x, we end up with 2x squared plus 6x minus 360 equals 0. We can now solve by starting to factor, and we always factor the GCF first. 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 180 equals 0. We can either use the quadratic formula or continue to factor to 2 times x plus 15 times x minus 12 equals 0. We can now solve for x by setting each of those factors equal to 0. x plus 15 equals 0 and x minus 12 equals 0. Subtracting 15 tells us our first option for x is negative 15, and adding 12 tells us our next option is 12. We still need to find y, and we can do that by plugging into that original equation that said y equals 72 over x. y equals 72 over the negative 15, which, when we reduce by dividing by 3, will be negative 24 fifths. When x is negative 15, y is negative 24 fifths. We also get another pair by plugging the 12 in to 72 over x, or 72 over 12, to find out that when x is 12, y is 6. 12 comma 6 is our other solution to this equation.